This mass is offered for the soul of Ambrose offered by Elizabeth and family. Thanksgiving on the birthday of Vinit Kaksheri offered by John family. For the soul of Sylvester de Souza by Anil de Souza. For the special intentions of Agnes Shanti Mohan and family. And intentions of Vinita and Nikita sisters a thanksgiving on the wedding anniversary of maria and pritham by daryl gandhi and for the intentions of the legion of mary english in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit the grace of our lord jesus christ and the love of god and the communion of the holy spirit be with you all my brothers and sisters coming together as god's family let us acknowledge our sins <clears throat> You were sent to heal the contrite of heart, Lord have, mercy. Lord have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ have, mercy. Christ have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty and ever-living God, as we see how the nativity of your Son, according to the flesh, draws near, we pray that to us, your unworthy servants, mercy may flow from your word, who chose to become the flesh of the Virgin Mary and establish among us his dwelling. Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Ask him to put on all the lights. Behold, I will send you Elijah the prophet before the day of the Lord comes. The first reading 
a reading from Malachi, chapter 3, verses 1 to 4, chapter 4, 5 to 6. Thus says the Lord God, Behold, I send my messenger, and he will prepare the way before me. And the Lord whom you seek will suddenly come to his temple, and the messenger of the covenant in whom you delight. Behold, he is coming, says the Lord of hosts. But who can endure the day of his coming, and who can stand when he appears? For he is like a refiner's fire, and like fuller's soap. He will sit as a refiner and purifier of silver, and he will purify the sons of Levi, and refine them like gold and silver, and they will bring offerings in righteousness to the Lord. Then the offering of Judah and Jerusalem will be pleasing to the Lord, as in the days of old and as in former years. Behold, I will send you Elijah the prophet before the great and awesome day of the Lord comes, and he will turn the hearts of fathers to their children and the hearts of children to their fathers, lest I come and strike the land with a decree of utter destruction. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsible Psalm. Our response will be, look up and raise your heads because your redemption is drawing near. Look up and raise your heads because your redemption is drawing near. O Lord, make me know your ways. Teach me your paths. Guide me in your truth and teach me, for you are the God of my salvation. Response, look up and raise your heads because your redemption is drawing near. Good and upright is the Lord. He shows the ways, he shows the way to sinners. He guides the humble in right judgment. To the humble he teaches his way. Response, look up and raise your heads because your redemption is drawing near. All the Lord's paths are mercy and faithfulness for those who keep his covenant and commands. The Lord's secret is for those who fear him. To them he reveals his covenant. Response, look up and raise your heads because your redemption is drawing near. Please stand for the gospel acclamation. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. O King of all nations and keystone of the church, come and save man whom you formed from the dust. Hallelujah, ha, hallelujah, hallelujah. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Saint Luke. Chapter 57 till 66. Verse, uh, chapter 1, verse 57 to 66. The time came for Elizabeth to give birth, and she bore a son. And her neighbors and relatives heard that the Lord had shown great mercy to her, and they rejoiced with her. And on the eighth day they came to circumcise the child, and they would have called him Zachariah after his father. But his mother answered, No, he shall be called John. And they said to her, None of your relatives is called by this name. And they made a sign to his father, inquiring what he wanted him to be called. And he asked for a writing tablet and uh, wrote, His name is John. And they all wondered. And immediately his mouth was opened and his tongue loosed. And he spoke, blessing God. And fear came on all their neighbors. And all these things were talked about through all the hill country of Judea 
and all who heard them laid them up in their hearts saying what then will this child be for the hand of the lord was with him the gospel of the lord praise to you lord jesus christ sometimes history can be a mystery and of course mystery is always not necessary historical happenings that uh, take place in different parts of the world amuse us startle us wonder us some events are normal very biological physical acceptable agreeable normal and very natural some events cannot be accepted even in the light of faith it is challenging couple of events that are portrayed in the whole of the scripture are really mysterious for example in the gospel according to luke angel gabriel says to mary what is impossible for man is possible for god in other words nothing is impossible for god so the impossible things have taken place in the bible that is why i said mystery not necessary historical but historical things can be a mystery birth of isaac the birth of isaac has been a mysterious when abraham was so old and uh, sara was also barren things changed in their life also here in the question of uh, zakaria and elizabeth both were in advanced stage of their uh, life but still god said to zakaria your wife elizabeth will conceive and bear a child zakaria was uh, wonderstruck he doubted he raised a question how is it possible because of this he was chastised for a while his mouth was completely closed down and this is what we heard today the birth of john the baptist the birth of isaac has been historical but mysterious the birth of john the baptist is also historical mysterious what is impossible for man possible for god what is impossible for you can happen in your life when you keep on having a deep faith in god god blesses us those who have a deep faith in him in his power and almighty mercy so that is one example that we find in the gospel of today so let's go a little bit how this gospel is portrayed <clears throat> now the child was born on the eighth day the child was to be circumcised as per the norm and custom of the jews so now while circumcision name also was to be given to the child look at this mystery and how god intervened in the mind of zachariah and elizabeth when husband and wife go together in the mind miracles happen when the mind and heart of wife and husband are poles apart disasters come in one after the other when they are like minded <clears throat> like hearted even like bodied things change in their life happiness keep creeping in peace keep coming in children flourish the project is successful and their body becomes healthy how when a husband and wife go together in the same track of their life when the chain the track finished this is what one example we see in the life of zachariah and elizabeth <clears throat> elizabeth said this child's name would be called what john 
right people their relatives were questioning how is this this john could be given to this child because among our relatives there is no name at all as john then the bug was passed to zakaria zakaria asked for a slate tablet to write because he was not able to speak and uh, he made a sign and a slate was given and he wrote it on the slate john did elizabeth know that john is going to write john uh, zakaria is going to write john no did john know uh, did zakaria know that elizabeth is going to tell uh, john no look at this divine intervention that's what i keep on saying when a husband and wife go together in their life in the same track same path same thinking same plan same project and same chastity same fidelity and same love as i said miracles happen so zakaria wrote john then the name was accepted by the family members and that's how he was circumcised so the message for today my brothers and sisters how salvation comes into our life very mysteriously salvation comes to us very mysteriously not in the way that you and i expect but god make things happen whether it is your health whether it is your money whether it is your uh, success uh, job whether it is your family commitment whether it is your uh, uh, religious commitment whatsoever the moment you put all your trust and faith in god god make things happen for you at one time it looks bleak at one time it looks dark but still the lord br- brings dawn on you the lord brings glimpses of light of hope in your life so keep believing keep believing last word coming back to abraham abraham had a deep faith his name was changed from abram to abraham meaning father of many nations so that's how message for us is the response to the psalm was beautiful raise up your heads raise your heads up your redemption is drawing near So Christmas is redemption birth of the savior is redemption and redemption is drawing near then the redemption lies in your faith redemption lies in your tongue redemption lies in your activity your redemption lies in the way you move with one another God bless us each one of us let's pray Lord you are very mysterious God what we doubt you make things happen for us when we really need of it in the life of Zachariah and Elizabeth you brought a wonder in the life of Abraham you brought wonder in the life of blessed virgin mary you brought down wonder which is very mysterious and historical we believe this day redemption salvation is around us and that salvation in our health in our property in our family commitment in the spousal relationship in the relationship between the parents and children in the business and you make things happen thank you lord for this message that you have brought to us through this passage amen come to the lord come join us in this offering come to the lord come with us as we go
pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. The Lord is the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and for the good of all His holy church. May this oblation by which divine worship in its fullness has been inaugurated for us be our perfect reconciliation with you, O Lord, that we may celebrate with minds made pure the nativity of our Redeemer, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your Lift up your hearts. Lift up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. He is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks Lord Holy Father Almighty Eternal God through Christ our Lord for all the oracles of the prophets foretold him the Virgin Mother longed for him with love beyond all telling John the Baptist sang of his coming and proclaimed his presence when he came and so joining with the angels we proclaim your glory as we say holy 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 lord god of hosts heaven and earth are full of your glory hosanna in the highest <coughs> bless you who you come in the name of the lord hosanna in the highest you are indeed holy O lord the fount of all holiness make holy therefore these gifts we pray that they may become for us the body and blood of our lord jesus christ at the time he was betrayed, entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, when we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim the death of all until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Peter, Archbishop, and all the clergy. Remember Ambrose and Sylvester de Souza whom you have called from this life. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, Blessed Apostles, Saint Joseph, and all the saints who have done your will throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced in eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O oh God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Our Father, what in heaven? Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us the say our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not in temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, 
from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, <clears throat> and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who set your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who we'll live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Land of God, we take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Land of God, we take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say a word, and my soul shall be healed. I stand at the door and knock. If anyone hears my voice and opens the door to me, I will enter his house and dine with him and he with me. Revelation 3.20 Let us pray. Grant your peace, O Lord, to those you have nourished with these heavenly gifts, that we may be ready with lighted lamps to meet your dearly beloved Son at his coming, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. There is a Vinit. Vinit is here, celebrating birthday. Okay, God bless. Tomorrow, Thursday, the Mass in, in the morning will be as usual at 6, 7 o'clock. And in the evening at 6 p.m. there will be carol singing followed by special Christmas Mass. So you can convey the message to all your friends and relatives. Those who wish to attend the tomorrow evening Mass, you are most welcome. 
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Send forth your messengers, O Lord, they will spread your light. To all the world around, they will sing of your glory. Chose us from all time, your messengers to be.